Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk about used PC parts. You probably guessed that by the video title and description though. So let's get started. No doubt about it, the used PC market or the used PC part market is huge. Through it, it's pretty easy to build a awesome workstation PC or gaming PC on a reasonable budget actually. So there's definitely a place for it. And with that, it's pretty easy to find the benefits. In which the benefits off the top of my head are really, you can get a really good part for a cheaper price than what it would have been brand new. You don't have to have any driver issues. Sometimes with new parts, there's driver issues. That there has already been mitigated because someone else has had to go through that. As I said before, the used market is huge. And here in Queensland, Australia, we have, and I have used um, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, probably a few more, but those are the three I've used. And depending on what country you are in, there might be more. Like America has Craigslist. And the places like Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree are awesome because you're not necessarily handing the money over online unless it's too far to drive and pick up the item. Also, if you can go and pick up the item, you can actually inspect it before you buy it. So if it's a graphics card, you can look for those blown capacitors and expanded capacitors and whatnot. So for sites like those, there is a benefit to buying from them. And with them also, not only can you inspect the parts, but maybe you can see that the parts is working if the seller has enough used parts. eBay, on the other hand, isn't quite like that. When I've bought from eBay for used parts, it's in a completely different state. It's a little bit too far for me to drive and heck, even fly to it. It's cheaper just to post it up and hope for the best. But one thing that eBay does do right is it's got protections for both the seller and the buyer. It's got seller's protections and buyer's protections. So if you have a part where the person has described it as working and it doesn't arrive working, well, you are protected. And eBay will help you out with that if you need the help. And even though from, and even though here in Australia, eBay is usually more expensive than what the Facebook marketplace and Gumtree have parts for. If a part's on the auction, you might be lucky enough to score it for a really good price. So I have personally used used parts. My computer has none. Great way to start this part of the video off, but I've built three computers with used parts somewhat involved. The first one I did, I sold. It was an entry level gaming system. It wasn't completely used parts. The only new parts were the hard drive and the SSD because it was cheaper to actually buy them new than used. But there is one system, so everything other than those two components were used. Um, my girlfriend's PC to the left of me, the power supply I brought used, it was one year old. So I was very happy with that. The graphics card is used. I was very happy with that. All I had to do when I got it was clean it out. It was filled with dust. So I just took the shroud off and cleaned it out. Um, the motherboard and the CPU were also used and all of the used parts work perfectly fine in fact though as i stated in a previous video i'll link it up here to my left should be well actually the new thermotech parts but that's not for this video and i built one of my br brothers or my three youngest ones are still in school a pc you can do gaming yes more so for their school work and gaming but again like my mrs pc the graphics card was used the CPU and the motherboard were used, the power supply was used, and the RAM was used. So yes, I have dealt with used parts, and in fact, I've actually brought a new part for a really good price from a Facebook marketplace. I had to get it shipped because it was too far to drive in. It is in my computer. It's actually the 360 millimeter AIO cooler. So it was new, it came with the RGB fans. It only came with one of its stock fans, which I didn't know when buying and the seller forgot because he got it from his friend. He said, that's all good, but I got it for a really good price nonetheless. And I could confirm that it was actually a brand new product because the stock thermal paste was still on the CPU block for the cooler. So pretty happy with that. So as you can get a really good deal, my brother's computer has, like I said, used parts. The motherboard is a board from 2008, 2009, I think. It's a X58 motherboard. So LGA 1366. And it's got a Xeon processor in it, the X5670. That's awesome. It's a six core processor, 12 
threads. Pretty sure it was made in 2010. So you can even get really old parts that still work amazingly. So I want to talk about some more experiences of talks that girlfriend's PC works, brother's PC works. It's not always good. So here's not necessarily all bad. I wouldn't say that good. So one time I brought, I think it was a P55, P55 or H55 chipset motherboard. I'm not quite sure. And it came with a CPU that was for that board. So this was, I think the generation before the X58 motherboards. Do correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I got it off eBay and the guy listed that it was working and everything and it had a postcode readout, a key code readout. So I was very excited about it. Like, ooh, this is awesome kind of thing. When I got it, I had a fair few other used parts. I had basically doubles of not every particular part, but I had another motherboard and another power supply and another graphics card. And I'm not quite sure if I had extra RAM. But when I got this board, I put it on a test bench, so a cardboard box, and tried to get it to work. I got the manual online and everything and did everything correctly. And it wouldn't boot, wouldn't even get into the BIOS. In fact, the Q code readout wouldn't even light up. And I contacted the buyer about it on eBay and he said that it was working. And he asked me just to tell him what I had done troubleshooting steps wise and he never got back to me. So I eventually, a couple days later, I gave him a few days to get back to me. <clears throat> I contacted him through eBay's um, buyer protection protocols. So I was just messaging him normally through eBay and I went through the buyer protection stuff, see if I could get a return and whatnot. And he never got back to me and eBay helped me out. So they got me the money back and they actually paid for return postage so I could send the item back to him. So that's what I did. It all worked out at the end, slightly frustrating. And I did test the RAM, the cooler, the graphics card for power supply on the other motherboard as well as swapping the parts over that I could swap over and the not working boards still not work. So frustrating, but at, in the end, it all worked out nicely. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. eBay will help you. They've got the policies and procedures in place to help both the seller and the buyer. So this one time I was on the Facebook marketplace. In fact, the next two, this one and the next one, sorry, are on the, from the Facebook well, no, one's from Gumtree, but same sort of deal. Contact the buyer, go to them, pick up the parts, inspect the parts, go home. So I was buying PC cases. He had two cases for 20 bucks each. One was a full size ATX case and the other was a um, mid tower from a uh, Acer Predator pre-built. So no manuals for that one. I got them, came home, and when I went to put parts in, the full size tower didn't have the power supply um, bracket i guess i could put the power supply in but i couldn't screw it to anything because the hole was larger than the atx power supply so the little brackets to screw into the power supply and into the case wasn't there i got rid of that case that's just one of the issues with buying used parts you really got to look for all these things and sometimes you may need to bring parts with you just to size it all up and i'm going to get to the second case really soon it all worked um, but the Gumtree one, I brought um, a CPU, motherboard, and I think it may have been 18 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. I think I got that all for a hundred bucks. So it was really good. The motherboard and the CPU worked fine. The memory all worked fine except for one stick. So I thought, well, so be it. That's just one stick out of the whole lot. Everything else works. So I just got rid of that one stick. Um, yeah, that board, the motherboard, was an Intel board, probably from a different pre-built. So I went to put this board into the Acer Predator case, or the older Acer Predator case. So I went to put it in and whatnot, and it all fitted fine. S screw holes went in the right spots and everything. No problem there. But it turns out for both the case and the motherboard, it was very hard to find manuals for them. So the front connectors for like the power button, the reset button and whatnot, weren't labeled all too well. So I had to figure out which one was which, but also the motherboard didn't have like any form of color coding for what's what, let alone the process of finding the manual. Just, well, I couldn't find one. I had to try my luck and eventually I got it and everything all worked. That was a very interesting build. It was frustrating but looking back at it by god it was fun so yes those are my experiences from buying one thing i think 
that should not be bought to use as a hard drive because they can run slow, especially the older they get, the more used they are, the slower they go, they probably won't be running at their rated speeds. Also for things like RAM and uh, CPU coolers, whether it be AIO or, so yes, you can get really good deals with used parts and really, and now I'm kind of backtracking, so that's all I've got for you today. I've got nothing else to say for used parts. If you're on a tight budget and you want an awesome PC, I suggest going use parts. Okay, you probably won't have warranty, but if you want an awesome gaming PC or workstation PC and you're on a tight budget, you're going to have to pick your battles. You really are going to need to pick your battles. I want to know what used parts have you bought? But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you all next time. Links to social media stuff in the description below. And yeah, see ya.